I know you have a question. Jimmy, how is the small lob squat challenge going? I know, it's what everybody's asking me. So we're gonna show you a video today to see how this thing wrapped up. Stay tuned. In case you haven't been following the Small Log Challenge, I'm gonna put a card up at the top of this video. Click that and you can catch up to see what's gone on week one and week two. But I'm gonna tell you, we've been making some crazy gains for a guy that never did a whole lot of um, squatting in the past, never heavy squats. That mofo over there with the squat heavy is making me do this stuff. In the midst of training for a bunch of other things. He's like, I don't care that you're 40. I don't care that you're gonna do the open. I don't care that you're gonna run a half marathon. We're gonna squat till your ass explodes. So far, the ass hasn't exploded, but we've got good results. All right, set one. Set one. Week three. Last day. Last day. Hollin Oats. Good depth. Dude, it looks like we're still warming up. Like that didn't that didn't look in a good way. Like that didn't look like that's the weight that this whole cycle has been building up to, you know? Was it anticlimactic for you? Yes. Yeah, something tells me over the course of the next nine sets that will get a little bit more interesting though. I, I have a feeling you're correct. <laughs> Things that can be solved in a five minute phone conversation, so much better than in a million text messages or eight emails. It's just like, hey, because you can hear a tone. That's why I use those bomb bomb emails or I use voice memos. I don't text anybody. Voice memos, you hear exactly. You hear my tone and my voice. Um, and I know Chip hates the foot stomp. People ask Jimmy, what's up with the foot stomp? I'm gonna tell you, I don't know. It's just a prep. It's a bad habit I have right now. I'll find something else later. But for now, you're gonna deal with my foot stomp. Squash that bug, Jimmy. Squash, Squash that, that bug. bug. That's the real victory. All right, small of uh, week three. What are we finding? Well, he's now doing 10 sets of three at his three rep max lift. Drive, there you go. Squeeze the bar, squeeze the bar. 92.5% um, is normally considered a three rep max and he's at 93%. He's gonna lift it for 10 sets of three. I don't need you, I coach myself. <laughs> <laughs> so that tells me three things, one, He's improved neuromuscular efficiency. Much better second rep, good job. The ability to fire all the right muscles at the right times. He's improved strength wise. He's actually gotten a little bit stronger in these three weeks. And um, based on technical efficiency and just the mechanics of his squat, he's also gotten um, better with proprioception. reception. The ability to manipulate his back and his glutes at different times during the lift. In order to make mid rep adjustments to make sure that not only is he getting the weight up, but he's getting it up with the correct form. Gains all around with the Z. All kinds of gains. All kinds. I had all my calories with bars yesterday. I had I was... a lot of calories in the bar last night. <laughs> Different type. Home stretch. Number nine. What's that smile? I don't know how to take you made me nervous with that third one, dude. Oh, did you? <laughs> Last set, Smolov. You know, it's been your, fun. As your coach, I just want to remind you that there's still time to mess this up. Why do you do that? Just means I'm going to kick the shit out of it, so. It's been fun. 
So we're done, small off challenge, it's three weeks. And I was talking in there about some of the things that I've noticed. That first week, if you remember, you know, I missed on the day that I had to do 10 sets of three. We had a miss. Drive, drive, drive. All right. And that was at 2.35. Today, 2.55 and no misses. There was a couple that were, that were challenging, but I never was afraid of, I can't get this up. And more so than even the strength, like the ridiculous strength gains that I feel that I've seen in just three weeks, it's helped me build confidence. I know the technique, I know how to safely do it, I know what adjustments to make when I'm struggling. You know, that was the part today. I could tell if my weight was shifting forward a little or coming back a little or where it needed to be. I knew what was a good lift versus maybe not an ideal lift, but you got it up. And as Chip reminded me today is, when you get into this mode, it's not even necessarily training mode, you're almost in a compete mindset. It's get it up, you know? And so as we back off the weight, some will be able to continue to work on technique. That way, when you're in a compete mode, you're super taxing your body at nearly, I think 95% of what was my initial one rep max, is that when you're in that time, if you've done the technique work with a lesser weight, your body's gonna know how to adjust. And that was the cool thing today is, there were a few that, you know, there was a pause in the middle, there was a little more effort to get up, but I knew when I hit that little bit of a wall, what to do to get it up. There was never a time that I was nervous that the weight wasn't gonna come up. And that's just putting a bunch of reps together in a short amount of time. And that's like anything in life. Something you're nervous about, something you're not very confident in, go do a lot of it in a short amount of time and you're gonna gain a lot of confidence. But thank you so much for, for joining this journey. I hope that you've enjoyed it. Even if you're not a weightlifter, I think fitness is such an analogy for so many things in life. And what I hope this encourages you to do is get out of your comfort zone, go do something, just jump in two feet. Be willing to fail. I did week one, but if I had been scared of failing week one, even when I did fail, I wouldn't be able to feel as accomplished and proud of myself as I do right now. So if this has resonated with you, I appreciate you subscribing. Uh, leave me a comment. Let me know what it is that you're jumping into outside of your comfort zone. And I'll see you next time. Take care.